Happy Friday from all of us at the Cambria Regional Chamber of Commerce. We're here in Portage with our friend Charlie Ramini of the Parkway Restaurant. He is highlighting his Crimson Room with a business after hours. Lots of fun. Thanks to our friend and chamber member Charlie Ramini for hosting a great business after hours. His food is always a fan favorite and it was nice to check in with chamber members from all around the county. Charlie held the event in his newly renovated Crimson Room in Portage. Plus it's always a bonus to get his famous pizza from the Parkway restaurant. A packed house for the chamber's salute to working women. The keynote speaker Heather Muir Maffey is a Johnstown native and UPJ grad, now the beauty editor of Real Simple Magazine. She talked about the art of work-life balance. Thanks to the Wind Committee for making it such a fun day. Big news at Wessel & Company CEO Joel Valentine has been recognized by Forbes as one of the top 200 CPAs in the country. This inaugural Forbes list showcases CPAs that are not just professionals in good standing, but also trusted advisors with a passion for client service. And congratulations to Melissa Comar, Executive Director of the Johnstown Redevelopment Authority, for winning the Pennsylvania Municipal Authorities Association Career Recognition Award. Over the years, Melissa has helped secure $30 million to help move our region forward. An important reminder for drivers to be cautious with farmers on the roads during this active agriculture season. Pennsylvania's Rural Road Safety Week was hosted this week in Cambria County at the Krug Farm in Loretto. Pennsylvania's Secretary of Agriculture, Russell Redding, was among those urging drivers to be patient. Laurel View Village this week held a groundbreaking for 10 new new townhomes on the campus at 1600 Cambridge Drive in Davidsville. A celebratory luncheon took place following the groundbreaking at Laurel View's Harvest Banquet Room. Big congratulations to Wesley and Maria Ed on the grand opening of their new game and hobby shop, Wolf and Wyvern. The shop, located at 139 Clinton Street, has something for everyone, including sessions to learn new games. And speaking of the Ed family, artist Norman Ed is the featured exhibit at Gallery on Gazebo. His work, titled Dual Exhibitions, will be on display through June. JWF Industries held a signing ceremony this week for several students entering the company as welders, machinists, and automotive technology vehicle assembly workers. The students come from a number of different school districts in Cambria and Somerset counties. The signing ceremony was followed by a celebratory luncheon. Johnstown Concert Ballet will perform Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs this Saturday at 2 p.m. at the Pascarilla Performing Arts Center. Tickets can be purchased at Johnstown Concert Ballet. Org. Our Business Hall of Fame is tonight. We're super excited. We will have lots of video to share with you next week. Happy Friday. Good News Friday is brought to you by Wessel & Company and First Summit Bank.